The challenges that most engineers face today are achieving a good balance between solving a problem, a meeting a need, and the cost of doing so. Most engineers are, are very, they're, they're very intelligent, technically they're very capable, but they really don't understand the financial aspects of their projects and they don't understand often the political aspects of their projects. And so it many times I see outstanding engineering solutions that don't get implemented because of, for example, either economic or political limitations or constraints. Eh, hoy en día el ingeniero de sistemas alinea todos sus conocimientos de tecnología de información con la parte estratégica de la empresa. ¿no? Hoy en día el ingeniero de sistemas tiene que conocer de, del negocio, tiene que conocer de procesos y tiene que justificar su labor a través de proyectos que generen rentabilidad para la empresa. Esa es la, la nueva visión que tiene el profesional de tecnología de información. The world that are very difficult uh, problems to so solve. I think uh, for the next uh, 10, 20, 50 years, the main problems will be connected uh, for solving the payable new energy sources, then uh, food and water for everybody. Enough food for everybody and clean water for everybody. It is as important as the energy. I think they are the uh, uh, most uh, global problems. Of course, <clears throat> in, in some areas, there are different. Maybe in, in Europe, not the food is the main problem, but, but the payable renewable energy. In India, for example, maybe this is not the first, first question. But uh, new technologies, new, new uh, challenges in, in the area of telecommunication, computer technology, and also the food and, and water technology. La ingeniería siempre ha estado ligado con la tecnología. Entonces, en la coyuntura actual que el país ha venido experimentando un crecimiento económico, es muy importante tener un soporte tecnológico, en particular en el ámbito industrial y el ámbito comercial. Entonces, el reto actual del ingeniero es integrar una serie de variables que ya no solamente son técnicas y económicas, sino también ahora social y también el tema ambiental. Part of the challenge is people and culture. Part of the challenge is, of course, money. To fund the infrastructure that needs to be built. To have scientists and engineers locally who can manage the infrastructure once it's put in place. The tools are all available. The work at hand is the one world, one, the theory of one world. The theory that cultures have to be more accommodating of each other because we are, we are not separated by geography any longer, we are separated by nothing. But I think most people are willing to make all of this work. And the people that are going to make this work are the engineers. The engineers in Peru, the engineers in China, the engineers in the United States will all come together and make this come together technically and functionally. It's up to the governments to make it work culturally and financially. Como visionarios tenemos que pensar que quizá en 30, 40, 50 años algunos ya no estaremos aquí. Pero tienes que pensar en hacia dónde se va a dirigir el futuro de nuestra juventud y nuestra gente. Eso es la tarea de los visionarios. Y también un ingeniero debe buscar ser un líder y un visionario. Of course, this is one person, it's not enough, one institution is not enough. One land is not enough, but uh, I, I think I am also a part of this, this uh, challenge of the future solvable problems.